Good afternoon, man. 25 gamers. In today's episode of gameplay, here we're going to be taking a look at the Seahawks full game using our Minnesota playbook on offense and our um, Detroit Lions 5 2 defense here uh, with the Seahawks team. If you guys are looking um, for the setups used in this game and the play breakdowns, those are on my YouTube channel. You can check those out um, under Scheme of the Week for the 5 2 in the Minnesota playbook. Um, also, if you are interested in using the Seahawks with this um, scheme, be sure to check out the full team breakdown that I did on the Seattle Seahawks on my YouTube channel as well. Um, but starting out, we're going to come out in our, our base formation here, the shotgun trips tight end. And we come out in it flipped. Um, and we, we'll get back to that in just a moment. We obviously broke that down in the play breakdown. But we're going to start out here. Uh, we're just going to start out with a little screen pass just to kind of get him used to seeing the that we like to throw some screens out of this formation. Just a little shovel pass to Marshawn Lynch, and when Marshawn Lynch has one on one with a corner, 99% of the time he's going to break that tackle. So I feel comfortable taking that matchup every single time. Okay, so um, what I like to do with this playbook is I like to run uh, the main core formations are between the doubles and the trips, and then I like to use the empty bunch as well. So there's a lot of different uh, things that we like to do from this set, but the halfback wheel is where it all starts because it, it forces the defense to have to play an honest game because we can run those two uh, really effective running plays out of this and also have, of course, this really dynamic play in the halfback wheel that they have. There's, a, there's so many reads that you can do with this. So in this situation here, we're going to check out of that. That was a zone look, so we're going to go to our zone beating play out of the gun normal in our audibles. We're going to call the PA jet sweep. The cool part about this is when you flip a formation, it automatically flips it um, every other formation you can audible to, which is really why we flip the trips tight end in the first place. So here we get our zone look. And a little bit too much pressure there. I probably should have hit one of my quicker reads. Unfortunately, I just wasn't paying good enough attention to that. I wanted to hit the, the deep wheel route on that play. So, that leads me to my next point. When you're running this playbook, you need to take your check downs. One thing I struggle with, is, as do many other players, is they don't take their check down reads. Uh, they're looking for that big play or whatever, and they just miss that wide open like drag route or that wide open zig. And that could, you know... That could be the difference between a first down and, and then, or a third and long. I mean, you just have to force yourself to take the underneath throws if the defense gives it to you. If they don't give it to you, you also have to force yourself to continue to go through your progressions. All right, in this look right here, we love to go with the halfback counter. If we play a numbers game, we have the advantage. So something as simple as a halfback counter here with Turban. And like I said, I, have, I could call that counter on... I mean, I would be willing to call that counter on 3rd and 10 if I got the proper read because it's so effective with the, um, with the, with the play and the formation. Okay, so here, again, just continually come out in the base play, but a lot of zone starting out here, so uh, probably going to check down into my gun normal again. I do want to take a look at this P, uh, at the regular jet sweep to Harvin and get him some touches uh, in the open field here. So here we see the jet sweep, and literally, I think the 49ers might have like some kind of code that people use whenever I don't use them, because for some reason, as you guys just saw there, the guy literally just like teleported to me. So, back to the ground here, and then the reason why we call this run is because we know it's a good run, we know it's going to give us a decent third down situation. Um... So that's why we we just kind of stuck with the bread and butter there. All right, in this situation, definitely got to go to your your money play. I feel like I can maybe make a, a user catch here with Harvin. Unfortunately, he dropped it for me. Um, and I want to show you guys more of the scheme on offense. I want to go ahead and go for it here. But if I was playing, a, you know, a money game, I probably would still go for this because of where I'm at on the field. And offense in this game is very easy to. Uh, get first downs on long yard situations. So uh, we know my X Factor formation is the gun empty bunch. So that's what we're going to check down into. This is the formation we go to when we have to have something. Uh, we're going to run the divide wheel from the gun empty bunch here. 
Really like this play. We actually caught him in a pump block. So, should be able to complete that. Harvin dropped it again. Are you kidding me? That's like the story of my life on this match. I hate Madden right now. <sighs> Alright, let's hop into the 52. Um, hop out in the base play here. And make sure you're standing over that egg up. And quick completion there. Um, probably should have started him out with a little bit more. Well, no, I probably would go there anyway. Ah, crap. Wow. I didn't get any of my setup in at all there. <sighs> okay. 5-2. Uh, he's starting out with some, you know, I can't pick a play, so that's really negating my defense at all. But that's how this game goes there. Sometimes you just can't pick a play. There you see the, the max coverage man play. And that ends what we needed to do there. So the reason I want max coverage there is because I just can't do anything. I can't call my blitzes because I can't set them up in time. So I'm just going to sit there and check down into the max coverage. And I'm going to do it again here. Read option. And that's the 5-2 for you. It stops to run very good. So now third and 12 situation. Uh, we're going to check down uh, to the uh, basic zone pressure. Uh, Trio Sky zone here. And there's Bruce Irvin. 90 speed. Put him out of field goal range. So a decent drive by the D there. Um, if he does go for this. Okay, he's going to go for this. I'm just going to go to the cover one. And I'm just going to run a heavy, heavy max coverage out of it. The idea here is just kind of keep everything in front of us. And there we go. One of the things I don't always do is sometimes I like to send heavy pressure in this situation. I find that sometimes it's a little, uh, depending on who you're playing, it's sometimes a little smarter to send maybe a maximum coverage defense or something, a, a passive pressure, because of the f how easy it is to throw the four verticals in this game. For some reason, people's favorite third down and two call is four verticals against me now. So I just have to adapt and, and change my philosophy right now on defense. Last year was really aggressive. This year, you kind of have to be a little more passive. What a play by Corey Lamarnu, a 74 overall, being able to get through that. That's phenomenal. As that's that, that's literally the story of what's go, been going on with me lately at Madden right now. Wilson making a big catch there. Uh, all right, you know, I mean, I hit X, but that's fine. Whatever. So since it, luckily the cool part about this playbook. Is it's all it's all in the they're all the same formation, so luckily I can get out of it. Um, here I can't hot route, so probably gonna be a pretty good play here. But here we're just trying to get outside with Wilson. Unfortunately, he blitzed me. So, but we, that's why you have like seven. That's why we have like seven people sitting in the flats over there. So that if that happens, because like if it's a zone. If it's a zone look, normally we call that against man, but if they do throw zone at us, we have that. Our whole team is in one area of the field, so we can just, it's basically like a little screen pass to them. So. Anywho. Back to the base play. Alright, I really like this look for counter. I swear, if he block sheds again one more time. Thank you. See what happens when they hold their block, and now you're gone. That's it. That's why you. That's why we get the counter. All right. So there's seven. Should be fourteen nothing, but unfortunately we can't. You know we can't run the ball. Percy Harvin can't catch, even though he's like a ninety overall. <laughs> Defense played well so far. Got an idea already of what he's going to be doing. He likes to quick snap, so. And this is one thing that will teach you guys. If they're quick stepping you, you know, I always say, you know, only roll max coverage on this down or the, well, that's as a basic general thought. Um, if they're if they're not gonna beat it, then just keep doing it. 
you know, until they show you that they can beat it. Because the, what he's doing right now really hasn't shown me any indication that he'll be able to beat my max coverage D. Here's a run. Bruce Irvin blew it up. McBain being a beast over there. That's the thing about the 5-2 guys. It's so good against the run. It's just a very simple defense to run. I, I recommend this as a as a a potential base defense. Um, if you're running some, if you guys like Nickel Strong or something, you still have Nickel Strong in this Detroit playbook. So you could definitely. I mean, this is a very viable um, base D. There's a screen. We should have a guy over there. We do Wagner. Nice. That was just the basic man coverage, uh, the cover one. In this situation, we're going to send our zone pressure. Got to stand in the A-gap so you get two-way. There's a screen. Oh, man. He almost got through that. That would have been tough. I would definitely don't. I would be surprised if he goes for it here. Okay, he's going to go for it. Alright, we're going to go fire zone 2. And we're just going to send one way pressure. That's exactly why. Because that, right there. There we go. Because we needed the coverage. We needed the coverage for the routes he was going to throw at us. We had the yellows out there to stop the curls. We had the user control over the top because we didn't blitz that guy down. So we were able to stay with the post, forcing him to go underneath and allowing us to get an interception. With the way this guy's playing, you don't have to send max pressure to really jot him, to really, um, to really force him to throw quick because he's not, because he's not, he's throwing the ball quick anyway. So we don't have to force that. And that's one of the things that I like about the flexibility of this. And that's the halfback wheel potential. If they're not honoring the fact that the left side is, is, is a possibility. The ability to have two wheels on the field, the way we have a wheel on the right and the left, forces the defense to have to base align their defense. If they don't base align, they're in trouble, as you just saw. And here, we're just going to try and pound it in with, with Marshawn on a quick snap. Um, one of the things I like to do real quick um, before we finish out here um, with the first quarter is when I'm in a situation where I need to get a two-pointer, I go to the full house, and I come out in the, the halfback draw, and then I'll audible to the uh, double shake, and I like to block both backs, put both receivers on the outside on fades. The main read here is Marshawn Lynch. Now, obviously, since he f called a field goal block, I don't know how you can't catch that since there was nobody guarding you, but unfortunately, Russell Wilson, I guess, couldn't see over the lineman, and, but... Anyways, guys, the main idea there is to hit Marshawn Lynch or to run with the quarterback. A lot of people drop max coverage defenses. If they do drop a max coverage defense on the goal line, you can easily scramble for um, the touchdown. All right, back to the 5-2. Um, here we're going to go to the base zone. And there we go. Base cover three there. You guys check that out. Breakdown. Just simple standard plays here. Nothing really too complicated. Just he's having trouble beating max coverage. There is that really nice um, max coverage pressure I like to send. Basically, you're only sending two people, and you're still going to get that pressure. Even though, well, sometimes you will. You won't always get it. So, all right, here we're going to go back into the base play. He's starting to get a little too comfortable with throwing to the outside. I like the fire zone, too, for situations like this. Play action. He actually blocked the halfback. And we should have Cam Chancellor for the interception. There we go. And we need to break this tackle. Don't give me a safety. Thank God. So now we just need to keep... Uh, poor, uh, keep scoring here. Keep efficient offensively, and, and we should come out of this with a W. I mean, at this at this point in the game, I think he got ball first. So, you know, there we go. 
going to come out in the big play. Halfback counter. really like this for this situation because of the of fact that he has not been baselining his defenses. It's a safe shot play because it's a running play, but it's a running play with very big potential if he does not baseline. Here we're going to go check down into the X factor, and we're going to throw another run at him, another read option, just to kind of see how he defends read option from this. Okay, so he doesn't pass commit, or he doesn't whatever. I don't know exactly what they have to do to... Um, I should have slowed there, but I don't know exactly what they have to do. Um, I think you have to option play quarterback. I don't think you can just pass commit. So, I just kind of wanted to see how he would defend the read option for future reference. And a second and four, it's kind of a down that you can play with, and you can kind of throw something at your opponent um, he hasn't seen yet, and just to see how he's gonna how he looks against it, that kind of sets you up for later in the game. So here. I uh, have not seen any man coverage, so I really haven't f had any need to go to my base man coverage beater. But I do want to go back to this double zone PA jet sweep here. Because I feel like this has some potential. Oh, that was horrible. Uh, I thought Winch was going to go deeper than he actually went on that play. I was trying to lob it over his head. Uh, it's so laggy. Golly. Um, can't pick a play. All right, second and ten here. Trying to probably run the ball. Yeah, I gotta run counter. Gotta run the counter here. It's a really good look. Yep, that's a really good look for the counter, man. Look at Lynch. Look at Lynch, baby. Boom. That's why I tell you guys, run the freaking counter. It's very effective. And then we're going to quick stack him, quick snap him here and go back to the other side. Not necessarily because he gave us a read, just because we want to show him we can go right. That kind of allows um, some misdirection here. Now we're in a quick snap situation. We're going to quick snap that gun empty bunch divide will play. Just something to get going because we're in a two minute drill right now with the clock. There's Harvin finally holds on to the ball. I think he remembered who he was. Alright, now we're going to go to the little slot swing play. The reason we're going to go to this is we're trying to just play dumb right now. Um, that's the main goal. So if he gives us a look, okay, he doesn't. So we're just going to throw it away. So still a lot of zone. Um... So if he's going to continue to run zone, I'm probably just going to have to check down into the gun doubles a little bit more. I mean, I've been able to move the ball pretty efficiently. Uh, Got to go counter here. Second and long situation. Obvious running down. Um, Got to go with it. I need Lynch to get five here. Come on. Push forward. Dang it, Lynch. And he got hurt, too. That's great. Fabulous. So that's going to take away a lot. I mean, a lot of this offense is based around that halfback counter threat. Since we don't have that, unfortunately, then we need to. Now we're going to have to be more pass reliant with the back in the game that really does better with passing attack. So this situation here, we're going to check down into our halfback circle play with the corner route and the deep out. Okay, so snap go. And the running back's wide open on the backfield. Almost got a first down. We'll go ahead and quick snap. Uh, we'll go ahead and quick snap a halfback counter here. And 99% of the time you'll get this, especially with the tendencies that he's had all game to not really base the line and not honor the counter. You know, you, you normally are going to be able to get that. Now right there, the idea, you got to get it down. Probably should have spun, uh, used a spin mover or something. But, unfortunately, I just didn't, did not make the adjustment to do that. Here, we're going to go back to the read option. And that's exactly why. To see if he still has made that adjustment or not. See what he's going to do. And that's why you slide. Unfortunately, I was being a stupid idiot and did not get down. Luckily, I have my left tackle. And that's going to give him seven. And really huge turnaround to the game. Stupid, stupid offense by me. Can't believe that. 
Dang it. Well, luckily we get Marshawn Lynch back next drive, but man, you gotta gotta be better than that. Gotta get down with Russell Wilson. Mm. Alright, so could be a fake. No, okay. So right there, that's the situation. We called the right play. We just gotta get we gotta make sure we avoid fumbling. That's one problem with this is you gotta make sure you're sliding. Um there's two scenarios there. I did not slide and I paid I paid for it. Squib kick, probably not the best thought process there, buddy. Because I've got two timeouts, 15 seconds. Now is where you go to your X Factor. Um, and also, guys, a quick tip. When your quarterback is tired, go ahead and take him out. Because of the fact that if he's tired, he won't, he won't, be, you won't be able to hot route with him. Um... And you won't be able to audible either. So, so here we're just going to go counter because we don't have a quarterback in the game that can throw it. And we get a big play. Lynch needs to just break a tackle. Now we're in a really good situation here. Um, we're going to throw a out route to get us in field goal range. And then we're going to go into a situation where we're going to try to hit a deep, like take one look at a deep route. If it's not there, it's not there. So really here we're trying to hit senior rights on the out route. Okay, he has purples. So we're gonna have to just throw the ball away. And we got three seconds left. This is probably the that was probably the dumbest thing we could have done there. Um I think I I got a little ahead of myself. We should have called this play Pat Slant. And hit the stupid slant route for a quick three, four yards. Here I have to throw it no matter what. And unfortunately, yeah, that's just bad clock management. I, you have to get, you have to get yourself in field goal range first before you start trying to take shot plays. Very poor time management by me. It cost me three points. So he gets ball at half. So we need to lock up. Oh, get the ball, get the ball, get him down right there, twelve yard. Nice, nice kick. Nice kick. Okay. 5 2 D. Fire Zone 2. Alright, here we go. Probably going to be read option. Ah, Sherman, I need you to be better than that. Ah. <sighs> All right, here we go. Lock up here. Send two-way pressure. And he throws another screen pass. Why does he keep throwing screen passes? Makes no sense. Keeps working for him, I guess. But dang, oh. Run. Oh, nobody got off their block. Are you kidding me? Dang it. I was trying to set up the base man coverage there. Alright, we should have everything he's been going to. Run. Gore is on roids! Literally! Didn't get the stupid, didn't get on my middle linebacker. It cost me a sack there. Dang it! Uh, right now we're just running the base play and adjusting. There, now we're set up. Now we got him. But I bet you he runs the ball. Yep, of course he does. <sighs> Why is my base play not stopping the run? Alright, you know what? Forget this. We're just going to run the max coverage zone. And that's why. There you go. 
Only problem with the 5-2 is it's a little bit harder to set up than some of my other Ds because you have to manually click on to people. <sighs> See, that's why you like the 5-2 because you can shoot the gaps um, right there. So, Alright, this situation, 3rd and 11. I'm going to send the zone uh, blitz. And yellow, everyone. I'm right there. Ah, give me a freaking pick. So smart decision by him to go to the field goal uh, route here. Still, can never be too sure whether or not he's gonna fake it. So good opening drive by him. Um, honestly, it should be, you know, 21 to 3. But poor game management by me is is what's going on right now. Onside kick because he likes to onside kick. Whew. All right. Back to the offense here. Like I said, I haven't seen enough. Ma I haven't seen any man coverage at all, so I'm not gonna go to the man beater because it's a prime. You know, it's mainly and the man beater from this is single back bunch, as you guys know. But it's it's you know he's just not giving me any looks for it. So we're just gonna stick to the base play here. And if he's gonna give us a drag, we'll take the drag, and we'll just we'll just be all right with that. And that's the thing I was saying earlier. Got to be willing to be okay with that. We're going to check down into that slot screen. He hasn't seen it a whole lot. we got a down to play with. Just kind of see how he defends it. I guess Marshawn Lynch is playing for the San Francisco 49ers in this game. Falls freaking backwards for 13. A loss of 13 on the play. I like literally could it go any worse. And there's that deep, deep, deep post on the wheel. In that situation, you're third and 15. Yeah, that's really all I was looking for. And, and he gave it to me, so. Alright. Here, counter all day. Go, Lynch. Break him. Break him. Lynch. Beast mode. There we go. See what I'm saying? 10 carries for 103. That's what I'm saying, guys. This playbook sets you up for success with running the football, giving you easy reads to run the ball. Lynch. It's lagging like it's his job right now. So we're going to check down into an under center formation here. Right down into the bunch. Even though we haven't seen man to man. I still like this halfback slash against um, in the red zone. Really like this run. All right, puts us in the lead here. We'll go ahead and go for two. Uh, trips tight end flipped. Halfback wheel. What we like to use when we go for two is we really like to use the, the jet sweep. Reason being, it gets very good um, blocking. Oh, wow, he was in field goal. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> I've never seen i never seen someone this bad, like, sick around. <laughs> it's just poor reads, like, all around the field. How did I not see that he was in field goal block? Mmm. Stupid. All right. Well, back to defense. Uh, probably just gonna stick with some max coverage because of the fact that he he's showing us he can't really beat it honestly. So here we're gonna go ahead and man line actually as well and. That was probably the stupid decision of man line because we lost our balance and again he just ran in behind it. So probably that's what I say you know, always baseline to just keep your balance. So sometimes I like to do the man line 
just because I like, you know, I, I, if I run a max coverage D or something, I want to be able to match up. But right there, obviously, was not the... This is so dumb. I hate that about the 5-2. The one thing I don't like about the 5-2, guys, is when you're cycling through your line, it basically treats your outside ends like they're linebackers. I don't understand that. They're not. They're linemen. Just play it right. Dang it. It's like if I'm reblitzing here, I have to like manually move my guy. And see, now I'm all effed up. Now I'm all effed up. That's the problem with 5-2. It's harder to set up than most defenses because of that one sole problem with the formation. The way that it works is they don't let you cycle through fast enough. But if you run it a lot, then obviously you would be fine. Here we're going to send some pressure. Thomas got lucky there. So we're going to have to have some deep coverage. So we're going to go to the cover three, and we're going to send pressure out of it. Oh, my gosh. It's really annoying. Pick the ball off. Freaking dumb. All right, we're going to have to go. Okay, I guess we're going to run on gauge eight here. We're going to go back to the man. I can't adjust at all. I can't. I can't hot route. So this is going to be a stock cover one, I guess. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. That touchdown is garbage. That is ridiculous. I can't hot route or adjust at all. Stupid. Lag. Be so. Uh, I wish that they would fix that. Why do you have to lag all over the freaking field, man? Oh well. So another touchdown that was caused by the dang game. <sighs> Got a score here. I cannot believe that. I hate that. All right. Got a score. But can't lock it. I told you to spin. All right, here we go. Of course it doesn't lag when I'm cycling through my plays on offense. Why would it do that? That'd be ridiculous. Man, I really like to look for the counter. I mean, what why I mean, why would I call anything else right now? I mean, that's giving me the counter. I'll just take that. Marshawn Lynch. I hope you're hurt. Gosh. You're a Marshawn freaking Lynch. Break that tackle. He's a cornerback. Stupid. <sighs> Maybe Turbin can break. I mean, he's just not giving me a look for anything else. This is just straight up whatever he's going to give me, and he's going to give me the counter. I'm going to continue to take it. There's no reason for me to do anything else. There's a first man look of the day. Luckily, we have that fade route, but Russell Wilson... Russell Wilson is playing like garbage right now. Like, literally, he's missed more throws than Trent Dilfer ever did. Like, don't pause the game. I don't want you... See, now I have... Now, look at that! Oh, my gosh. That's why I hate this game sometimes. The stupid game flow. Take that out of the game. No one needs that. Stupid. Alright. That I had to go to that. We didn't break that down. The stupid game flow put me in a two running back set, so I was just audible to the full house. But that's kind of stupid the way this stupid game is keeps effing me over. <sighs> Marshawn Lynch, break a run, please. Third and two. Halfback counter again. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Marshawn Lynch. Saved my rear end that time. He finally made up for all of his failures. Okay, so this is an indication that he may be running man coverage um, because of 
he, what I saw last time. So if he is a man, we'll have a really good chance. Okay, so he's not. So we'll just check down to our little in or out to Luke, to Luke Wilson. Now, of course, another injury. Like, my whole team might as well just not even show up. Why don't I just play with my second team? All right. So here I have a feeling we can maybe break a jet sweep. I haven't got an opportunity to run that as much as I would have liked to. I really like this run play. Um, so, and this is a really good look for it. What, what is go? It's the second time that's happened. It's the second effing time that's happened. You see, I don't know if you guys noticed. His dude teleported to me. Literally teleported to me. There we just checked down into the gun empty bunch read option. Because that's what he's been giving us. He's been giving us the run all game long. We don't really need to pass. Quick snap the counter. Lynch hasn't fast enough to break it, but that's part of the beast you get with Marshawn Lynch. We're going to check down into the bunch, run the divide wheel. Miller makes a massive, that was a tough catch. Man, that's a good catch by Zach. Nice catch, buddy. Check back down into the counter because he's just been given that. We know it's going to be there, so we're just going to quick snap him right now. There's no reason to... There's no even read here. It's just if he's going to guard it or not. If he's not been guarding it, so we're going to take it. <sighs> Unfortunately, Marshall is probably done now. He took three injuries this game. Um, no more halfback wheel. I'm going to check down out of that uh, into this little slip screen because of where we're at on the field. Everybody's going to roll to the left, and Wilson's just going to bail. All right, not there. Throw it away. It's kind of like a little sh a little trinket play for down there. Basically, if you want to throw back to the screen, you can risk it yourself. I'm not going to risk that because you don't even you can't even see that it's open from where you're standing. So that's the idea here. Uh, like this read here. Nobody over there. Got to run counters. And, of course, you're running through your own lineman. Why? All right, here we got to go for this um, because of the situation. So we're going to check down into our gun empty bunch, divide wheel play. And we're going to run the play. And we're going to say, hey, this is our X-Factor formation. And we're going to run it. Identify as user player. Leaves the drag wide open. We talk about that in the guide. We talk about that in the scheme of the week. Ends up saving my rear end right there. Big time touchdown by me. I go up by eight points. So I'm going to go ahead and take my point after touchdown attempt because I don't need to go for two here. This is going to give me a two possession lead with two minutes left to go. Very crucial um, field goal right there. All right. Oh, oh, he's lining up for a freaking hit stick. <sighs> All right, five two D. Um, gonna be the max coverage zone look. Called, of course, called the engage eight by accident because I like to call the engage eight. Chancellor, I need you to jar that ball loose, buddy. It's so laggy in this game, it's ridiculous. Alright, here we go. Lock up here. We're going to go to the zone blitz here. Um, we're actually going to send it off the right. And unfortunately now we're not going to send it anywhere because of the stupid... Game, get me off the middle linebacker, letting him get a little slip screen. I'm going to take it. And, of course, game again. Has he even gotten a play on me that he actually did? Good night. This is killing me. Same play. Now we're set up. 
Now we gotta like jet out. Sherman, be big boy. Get your ball, cow. Dang it. Alright, we gotta go to a zone. Gotta go to a cover three here. Uh, zone coverage D. Gotta stay with this. Yeah. 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 Fumble the ball. You make me fumble. Dang it. Now it's fire zone two time because of third and six. He's got to get a first down. More so than he's got to get a touchdown. He's probably going to be going short. I got that middle linebacker. See what I'm saying? I probably, you know, but you can't, you can't. Also, at the same time, you can't just get. Wow. Wow. I don't know if you guys just saw what happened, but my, I, three people. Oh, I'm blocking that kick. Get off me. Uh. Be honest, guys, I just got lucky. Man, I can't believe I actually blocked a kick. That's like the second time I blocked one in the whole game. <laughs> All right, Big Miller coming in the clutch for me. And go ahead and decline that. All right, now it's time to wrap it up. Check down into our. Um, well, we're gonna stay with our base, of course, but. Wrap up the game here with a couple first downs and get out of here with a W. Ended up being a lot closer of a game than it probably should have been. The offense worked fine. The defense worked fine. And it just ended up just, you know, a couple of misses here and there. But overall, pretty good performance. Um, so just remember when you're running this playbook, um, be, be confident in your, your basic stuff. Um. You know, it doesn't take a lot with this book, which is one of the reasons I like it so much. It's very simple. Probably should have hit him with the divide wheel a little bit more because of the effectiveness of it. But it ended up, he was giving me a lot more of the little underneath stuff. So, it was just a judgment call on my part. And if it was a... Another game, I might have played it a little differently, but, you know, Madden 25, you got to stay at the run game in this game, guys. So here he has nobody on the outside. That's what I'm saying, that that slot swing play. Never really got to show you the effectiveness of it, but once you get outside with Wilson, <coughs> you have potential for big gains. But, yeah, guys, this is the Minnesota playbook, the 5-2 defense. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this scheme of the week. If you guys have any questions, let me know. All right, he's offside, so we'll just take a free play. We'll go ahead and put one more up for you guys. But uh, just stay simple with this. This is one of the simplest offenses to grasp um, because it's so easy. You're basically just reading the alignment of the defense. Uh, defensively, it's a little harder because it, it is a little bit more of adjustments and user stick, but it's still very good. Um, hopefully, you can use it if you can't. Uh, check out the nickel strong in the Detroit playbook. It's also very good. We broke that down before. It also has the 4-3 stuff. Um, Detroit's a very good playbook. Also, real quick, if you guys are looking for more information on the Detroit Defensive Playbook Guide, um, this is my uh, basic stuff out of the 5-2. If you want some more advanced 5-2 uh, uh, Detroit Lions Defensive Playbook breakdowns, please check out mentips.com. On Wednesday, they're going to be releasing their Detroit Lions Defensive Guide. And uh, hopefully that will be able to give you guys a little bit more insight into what um, you can really do with this. And there's the two-way pressure to wrap it up with the safety. So, good game, guys. I hope you guys uh, really appreciated the time and effort I put into making this defense and offense. I also hope that you guys can use this to your advantage. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of my Madden 25 content soon to come more. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching today. It really means the world to me to see how many of you guys watch every day. Thank you guys so much. See you next week for another great Scheme of the Week gameplay. See you in Bard. Signing off.